is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Mindset Series. This is episode three. I hope you enjoyed learning about mindset in the last one, learning how to keep a positive mindset and learning how to go about your day and creating that positive lifestyle for you. So in this one, we're gonna talk about the word hope. As you can tell in Michigan, we almost have no hope for some nice weather. Teases us a little bit like the last vlog, I believe it was like 62 out. Today it's like 33 and it is pretty cold. So we're gonna make this really quick. Hope is described almost as an object. It gives you something to push for. It gives you a possibility of an outcome. It gives you options. It really does. When you hope for something, when someone says, I hope for the best for you, it is uh, hoping for that possibility and wanting and, and really aspiring to have that possibility of having something good for you. If you say, I hope this happens, I hope this good happens, I hope it's still an object of a situation, a scenario that's a possibility. And then the word faith and hope kind of go hand in hand because when people say they lose hope in someone, they lose faith in someone, they lose that trust in that possibility, they lose trust in that scenario ever happening, they don't really see it as bright as it was before. Hope is what you make it. Hope is not a circumstance that the universe creates for you. Hope is something that you control. If you aspire to be, say, a professional musician, you hope that that outcome is what happens for your life, right? Nobody in this world can dictate what happens to your life besides yourself. When someone says, follow your hopes and dreams, that right there is a perfect example of what hope is. Your hopes and dreams and your faith in those things happening, they go hand in hand. I want you guys to drop some things down in the comments. What are things that you hope for in your life? What, what are some things that are your dreams and your goals and your passions? Please tell me about those. Take a second, you can pause it. I'll give you a five second window to pause. Unpause. Whatever you type down there, does anybody ever try to diminish that hope from you? Try to take that light out? Does anybody ever try to take that away from you by putting some negative circumstances or putting something in your life that could take that possibility away? But I'm, I can tell you this right now, when you're hoping for something, you have to do everything in your power to go after the thing that you hope for, the thing that you dream of. You have to do everything that you can do to make those things happen. So no longer is it a hope, no longer is it a dream that it becomes a reality for you that maybe one morning you'll wake up and life will be better than your dreams. If people are in your life being negative towards that, people are not hopeful for you and putting that on you, don't bear that weight. Don't bear the weight of people not believing in you. Don't focus on that. those people. Do what you need to do to make your hopes and your dreams a reality. Ask those people, are you in or are you out? Because I need a fucking answer. There's no more questioning on who's in your corner. There's no more questioning who has your back. There's no more questioning who supports and believes in you. And, and there is no more of that. Cut that out today. Figure out who is actually in your corner that you have no doubt about that are there for you. The people that you think about, who has my back? Who's my A1 from day one? Who's been there supporting me regardless of how much communication you have, regardless of how often you talk to those people, regardless of the type of support. As long as they support you, they're in your corner. Now the people that are kind of around, the people that kind of don't care, the people that put you down for what you're doing, today, yes, it can be hard, but today, cut them out of your life because your life depends on the positivity. Your life depends on your hopes to thrive. Your life's future depends on you not wavering from your hopes and dreams because of somebody else's mindset. So with that guys, please stay tuned for episode four, which will be next week. If you'd like a specific word talked about, drop them down below and we will talk about it in a video here soon. So as always guys, just remember that no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow is a brand new day. The choice is yours to go out and be more. See you guys.